Are you looking for some easy, crispy, and flavorful wings? Well, that's what I'm showing you today. Let's get it. What's up everybody, James with JB Sous Vide here and I'm so glad to have you back. If you're new here and you're looking to broaden up your sous vide game, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button down below and buckle up because today we're doing some crispy, flavorful wings that will go great for your next big game party or heck, even a weeknight uh, meal with the family. And to maximize our flavor on these bad boys, we're going to be saucing them up with a great Parmesan garlic mixture, so let's get into it. We'll start with our wings. I've got a little over three pounds of drumettes here. We're going to give them a generous salting. We're going to hit both sides with the salt. This salting is going to be our base layer for the chicken, while the sauce is going to be our external layer. We're all about building flavors here. We're now going to go and bag them up. This is one where I do use a vacuum sealer often. You can make a longer bag and get all the wings in one row. But if you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can always use a Ziploc bag like I am here. They do work perfectly. We can go ahead and take them to the bath. Big thing here is we want all that chicken to be in one single row. We don't want them to be stacking. Okay, it's been an hour for our chicken. We'll take a wire rack and dry our chicken off. We'll set them up on this rack and put them in the fridge to dry out. I like to prep these the night before and set them on the rack in the fridge uh, uncovered. The reason we're going to be doing this is to make sure that when we drop them in the oil later, no moisture is going to still be on the skin. It also just dries out that skin and makes it nice and crispy when we oil it. Okay, while they dry, we can get our Parmesan garlic mixture made. Of course, we're going to need some Parmesan. My recommendation is going to always be to get yourself a block of parm and shred it yourself. I found that the pre-shredded stuff always clumps up when we mix in the butter. Anyway, we're going to shred about an ounce of Parmesan here. That's what you want, like a nice dust. Now for the garlic. We've got three cloves of garlic here. We're going to put a good dice on these. And then we're going to mince it up real good. We'll add the garlic into the same bowl as the parm. For the parsley, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to take a handful of parsley and we're going to dice it up fine. The parm mixture and the blue cheese can both be done well in advance. And you should definitely do that for the blue cheese. It just really helps with marrying the flavors of the blue cheese. And again, we're going to add it to the same bowl here. We can go ahead and mix all that up and set that aside while we prep our blue cheese dressing. Speaking of the blue cheese, we're going to make it ourselves. None of that store-bought stuff. We're going to take a bowl and measure about three ounces of blue cheese crumbles. We can take that scale away and give the blue cheese a little mash with a fork. The goal here is not to have big crumbs and we can get more flavor into it with the smaller. Once you put a good crush on it, we'll add a half cup of sour cream. I also make this with Greek yogurt so you'll have that option. Then we're going to add a third cup of mayo. These will be our bases. Two tablespoons of olive oil in. A generous pinch of pepper, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, squeeze of a half a lime, and now you're going to adjust for your taste. Make sure you add your salt. Okay, let's finish up these wings. Here I have a wok with a couple inches worth of canola oil. It's heated up to 400 degrees. Remember, they're already cooked, so we're just making them crispy here. We're going to add the wings in batches here. Do not overcrowd the pan. That's how you drop your temperature too low and that's how it takes longer to fry. We'll fry that for about three to four minutes here or until they're nice and crispy looking. When crispy and golden brown, we can remove them and put them onto a paper towel. Make sure you hit them with a little bit of salt right away. All right, the family's getting restless. It's saucing time. We're going to bring back our garlic parm mixture and we'll add in four tablespoons of melted butter and mix it up. Now we bring over our wings in a big bowl. Look at them crispies. Add our mixture in and start to give the wings a generous toss. 
If your tossing skills aren't really there yet, you can bring a spatula to help fold it in. Fold it in. Just fold it in. And we'll go until everything is coated. Like this one. Good golly molly, I'm hungry. Grab your blue cheese and throw it on a tray to share. Or, or, or eat on your own. You do you, honey boo. Alright y'all, let's see how we did here. Boy, I don't know about you, but I love a good wing. Oh, look at that. Parm garlic is definitely one of my favorites. Um, that freshly grated Parmesan really gives it that salty flavor. Um, and that garlic just kind of enhances it. Let's try it out with some of that blue cheese dressing. Chunky. Team blue cheese for life. And if you're a team ranch, listen, still love you, but just try some blue cheese. Come on. All right, not much more you could say. Delicious wing. Crispy outside, perfectly done inside because of sous vide. Uh, the blue cheese dressing only enhances it. Your perfect snack. Do some of these up. Get ready for game day. And uh, if you excuse me, I'm going to go eat the rest of these. But remember, if you got something out of this video, go give it a like down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel and go watch some of the other videos that we got for you. I'll catch you on the next one.